guess we'll play should one. I be playing Lotus Petal? What's that? Should, we, should I be playing Lotus Petal on my deck? Yeah. Especially if you're running uh, Kirk Clan Ironworks. It's also a great thing to be able to... Um, uh, it's, it's just good. This is good. Huh. This hand. Grinza Dungeon Warden. We play it again. Yeah, I've played against Grinza before. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like, um, I'm gonna lose to you this time. I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna keep it sketchy. My hand is, is super bad. Uh, I want to attack. What's that? Oh, you guys tied. Did we? Oh, yeah. Alright, so I probably start. Yeah, I'll start. With that. Alright. I guess I'll still try. Um draw. My hand is got awful garbage. Literally, like one semi control player at this table. If either of us has a good hand, like we pretty much win. Grenzo Doomsday is also a thing. Justin. So he got a quite good hand. I think it might be a step play deck. You think? You're playing snow covered, why? So I like snow covered. Okay. I actually own them in real life too, so like my deck will probably have them. Oh, I have a bunch of snow covered in real life, but what I also have is a stack of twenty uh OG unglued basics. So those definitely trump snow covered. Also my other Goto deck, my casual one. Uh, which is like creature synergy. Um, like you get a creature, then you play a creature that has, uh, then you grab an equipment that has. Um... Gives them all creature types, so they can. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway, no, no. You grab a creature that has like synergy with some. You have a creature that has synergy with some equipment in your deck. Then you grab the equipment that goes with them. Like, I don't know, you draw a heart yeah, so you stuff. get lifelink. Anyway, it doesn't matter. My my casual Goto deck runs snow covered basics for Mouth of Ronom. That's cool. We might end up, we might lose the game here. Oh well, let's pay attention. Oh totally we might lose the game here. I if can't remember really about it. We lose here. If you what, sorry. Ice concept or reversal. I mean maybe. He hasn't tutored yet, so who knows? Fair luck ten. Straight up, just cast Thrasidus. Right. I wonder how much Grenzo can. I mean, Grenzo can't win next turn, not without like Dark Ritual into Grenzo Doomsday, which he could do. It's possible. No, it's not possible. 
you'd need it in, you'd need like a chrome box or something. Dark ritual. No, I guess I get Jarrett Grenzo out first. So I guess I get play Grenzo then. Is he casting Grimms or what? No, I'm just a Taunter. Maybe he's the Like it looks power, like it looks like a lot of stuff, but it still doesn't really go anywhere. It's a pile of stuff. Titter, Tinker, Titter, wait. I'll have one of those. Red Vampiric Tutor. It's not Gamble. It's four. I feel like... What, sorry? I feel like... This guy might... Sorry, you're gonna have to sit. You're gonna have to speak more coherently. I think we're gonna lose now. I think so. But there's nothing I can do about it by forking a, a Vampiric Tutor. Like, he either wins now, or he has counter magic for my win next turn. Because it's obvious I have a win next turn. You know I have a win next turn. Because you know what I searched for. Black. What, sorry? I'm thinking if he's going, if he's, go, if he's going off the ice ground scepter. Oh wow, he's tapping his lands. Though. Paradox engine. You know, ad nauseum. Paradox engine. Oh wait, never mind. He gets to untap anyway, so so he could have like anything unprinted, I guess. I wish I had more one more. Yeah, that's Scepter. I couldn't. Chain of Vapor. It's just doing that to make mana. Interesting. He's definitely going off. Oh, he can copy it as well. Why doesn't he copy it to bounce the talisman, I wonder? Oh wait, he's short card. Oh yeah, he doesn't actually have anything. Does oh, he's got one card in hand. 
He has to have a nose. Must be nose, yeah. Must be nose. Yeah. It's like he's definitely got the win with nose, right? Uh... Like with Paradox Engine already in play? Like how does he not generate enough mana to win? He has black and white. He doesn't have green. He's got Riff. Misdirection. Like he can stop us from winning. Oh. Um, it's not actually a win yet. Nature's claim. If Grim Tutor. I feel like he stops at the Grim Tutor. Why keep going at that point? I don't see a win. I didn't see any free. I mean, it, it doesn't really him. matter. He can generate a ton of mana. He can just like play a Signet, like play more artifacts, generate a ton of mana. He can Thrasios for more cards. Like, so he doesn't actually have to have a win in in the Adnos. Oh, now he has green. What was the win that you saw in his hand? No, I said before he didn't have green mana, so he might not have been able to do stuff. Like, he's definitely winning. I don't see the point of the candelabra being... In the deck? What's Candelabra do in that deck? Is it just a cheap artifact that produces colors? Or that filters a bunch of colors? Is that the idea or what? Do you know? I've never seen this build. Hmm. Normally I just see it in mono blue deck. So his plan is to ge generate a ton of mana and activate Thrasios a bunch of times, but I'll do it. Yeah. I mean, I'm making him do it, obviously. He's, he doesn't have... He, he can't demonstrate a win yet. No, I agree. Look, at this point, he's got spare col colorless. He should just start Thrasiosing. In between casting stuff. Why not? He might draw more artifacts to play, which would... Yeah. God, Thrasios is so good. Scry 1, then reveal the top card. If it's a land, put in your hand. Battlefield, otherwise draw a card. So you literally get to dig two cards. <laughs> so fucking good. I thought he played that already. Doesn't matter. What's he doing? I'm definitely going to be done after this. Sorry, what? I'm going to be done after this game. Well, he's definitely winning. It would have to be epic bad luck to fizzle at this point. He's got like six, seven Thrasios triggers. And then that will generate him more mana, so he can just keep going. Like at this point, with the number of artifacts that he has in play, I feel like he can, he can actually sustain a Thrasios cycle, you know? Like he draws more cards and they give him more mana with the Paradox Engine, like... He's generating six every time he plays a spell. Like that's pretty much parody. Thrasios. He's only got about a third of a chance of drawing a land. 
In fact, less than that, because he can scar away the land. I don't know why he keeps untapping the, uh... Oh, no, he didn't do the... Never mind. Is that Nature's Claim or what? The Lalt? He's better off hitting the Talisman of Indulgence. Or your Felwar Stone. I guess I should have played the Welder on turn one. But I had the fork. I had fork mana from the beginning because I have Simeon Spirit Guide in hand, so I didn't want to tap out. So until this turn, I didn't have a chance to. Whoa! Time spiral? Really? Do any. We get new. Yeah, we get uh, new hands. I don't buy that. <laughs> My hand is absolute garbage, and there's no longer a treasonous ogre on Kinda the top, so I lose. I had a helm in my hand, but I also had Even the equipper guy. Go He's gonna go off, though. Oh, that's it. That's a loop. Yep. Yeah, that's that's demonstrated. Do you have the... No, no, he's got infinite mana. No, if you counter that, right? What? I do not have a counter now. Do you have a counter? No, even with Simeon Spirit Guide, I worried. Sorry, what? No. Yeah, he can. He, yeah, he's definitely got the infinite. That's fine. That's well played. I didn't have I didn't have any way of stopping him. Well, I could have stopped him if I dropped the uh, the um, Goblin Welder on turn one because I could have taken out his. Um... Oh, did he have an artifact in graveyard? No, he didn't. So no, I couldn't have stopped him. There's no way I could have stopped him. If I didn't cast my Mana Rock, I had a Braid originally, but then you probably should have kept it up. Rather than playing the Felwar Stone. I didn't know he what he was on. Although if you had, like I probably would have won, so Maybe I don't play this. Why? Uh, he's just talking about treasonous ogre. He's like, he's like, I just realized about ogre. I thought it was one time only. Uh, not really. I mean, it's kind of one time only. You only have forty life. But <laughs> you ever attacked with the treasonous ogre? Not really. <laughs> it has dethrone, which is like totally irrelevant, uh, like ninety nine percent of the time, but pretty funny. I think I cut Possibility Storm. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. Possibility Storm is fucking gross and good. Most decks can't like, win through. Thought... Like, how would that deck that he was just playing right there have won through Possibility Storm? He can't add Nauseam. He can't reliably play uh, uh, Tutors because right. you get nothing. He can't reliably I mean, play assuming we, or get... Um... Assuming we get it down before then, and that was like turn three. 
So uh, we have to go like turn well, this two. Deck, this deck can uh, generate eleven mana turn one. It does, it's not going to have problems generating five I mean, mana. I mean, at that point, two. you want to just win, right? You'd rather instead of just casting possibility storm. I mean, I guess you could. Yeah, but you no, can keep a hand that is like literally, literally just possibility storm and five mana, and then just slow roll it. I've done it before. You win like fifty percent. Well, yeah, of the but that's not getting it down for turn three. Yeah, I'll Probably. play to turn one. Like, one ritual of mana vault? Like, that's it. That's all you need. Anyway, Possibility Storm turn two is totally just aggressive. Same thing with Stranglehold. Like, I like Stranglehold. I think I like Praxagor really enough still. But put it this way Possibility Storm is also Stranglehold. Because they can't use tutors from their hand. Do you see what I mean? Yes, I see what you mean. Like, I, I just find, like, if I'm in a, in a pod, like, with Joyra, or that wants to cast multiple things. Okay, you really look, Possibility bad. Storm doesn't stop Joyra. Fair enough, I've played it against Joyra, I lost. That is true. That's pretty much the only other commander, aside from Goto, that it doesn't horribly nerf. Yisin can also play through another... Possibility Storm very well. Basically, it's Yisen and Jora, and that's about it. Like, Silvala can't win through Possibility Storm. Um, Captain Sisse probably could. Captain Sisse can win through. Know, Captain Sisse isn't top tier either. Like, all these decks are not top tier, except for Goto. Didn't Teferi once win through it? Or I think they messed up, but they could have won through it. I think. Through what? I forget. Not not Mauricio, but there was somebody else I remember who was playing Teferi chain well against you, and you had per paradox and or and you had that uh, possibility storm out. And that, I don't know if I remember if they won or if they almost won, or they could have won if they. Didn't. So they they actually flipped into a um a chain veil. Did you see that game? Then someone else know, randomly just... flipped into removal for the chain veil. And then, like, two hours later, I ended up winning. It was a pretty bonkers game. I must say, like, that was an example of, like, extremely good luck for the Teferi and extremely bad luck that someone ended up getting removal for it in one turn. I think he messed up because I think he had Academy Runes and he could have been, like, putting it on top and then casting something into it. I think that's what... I also just want to cut Ruination just because I can have a fairy pod and a mono, the one monocolor deck. Gets. I feel like if I cast it, I'd just like make them. Well, I don't know. It depends on how. Oh, whoops.